From sunken ships with gold coins from hundreds of years ago to priceless treasures buried in a potato field, here are the 13 biggest treasure troves ever uncovered. Number 13. Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes Who has not dreamed of finding a mysterious and ancient treasure hidden in some remote part of the world? In 2007, the American company Odyssey Marine Exploration announced that it had done just that. The corporation discovered more than 500,000 pieces of silver weighing more than 15 tons 100 miles off Gibraltar, as well as hundreds of gold pieces and other precious objects. Although the company claimed it was the wreck of the Black Swan ship found in international territorial waters, Spain has managed to prove that the treasures were on board the Spanish frigate Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes sunk by the British on October 4th, 1804, during the Battle of Cape Santa Maria. In a long legal battle, the American authorities supported Madrid and forced the company to return these colossal treasures, estimated at 384 million euros, to the country. Now the coins are on display in a museum and can never be sold. So much for the excitement of finding treasure. Number 12. Wida Galley. It's hard to say how many thousands of tons of gold, silver, and precious stones still lie at the bottom of the oceans, considering the number of ships sunk with treasures or at the depths of the earth. Sometimes, researchers have the chance to find them and bring them to the surface. This did actually happen in 1982 when American underwater archaeologist Barry Clifford made a sensational discovery. Several hundred meters from Cape Cod, off the state of Massachusetts, only at a depth of 18 feet, he found the wreck of the ship Wida Galley of the famous pirate Samuel Black Sam Bellamy. Piracy was one of the most lucrative careers for short-term gain back in the 17th century, but many of the best treasures were lost in the chaos that occurred whenever pirates commandeered another ship. After attacking more than 50 ships in his short career, Black Sam had gathered enormous wealth aboard the Wida. In several years of studying the site, Clifford's team brought to the surface more than 200,000 valuables, including 12,000 gold pieces, not to mention weapons, furniture, and other historical pieces. Number 11. The Flea Market Fabergé Egg Hunting in flea markets can change your life. This is what happened to an antique dealer in the American Midwest who found one of the Fabergé eggs that could not be found. This golden egg has in store for him a heck of a surprise. Bought at a flea market for about $14,000 a few years ago, its new owner intended to sell it for the gold it contained. After estimation, the egg is now worth about $30 million. It turns out that this object is an imperial Fabergé egg containing a Vacheron Constantine watch, which was offered by Tsar Alexander III to his wife Maria Fyodorovna for Easter in 1887. The famous Russian jeweler Karl Fabergé thus made 50 valuable eggs, six of whom are still missing. Imagine a scenario where you're shopping at the flea market only to find something valuable enough to fund your whole family's immediate retirement it could change your life in a heartbeat. What's the most interesting thing you've ever found at a yard sale or a flea market? Did you buy an old piece of jewelry that might turn out to be valuable? Or perhaps collectibles that silently became worth thousands over the decades? Let me know what your most exciting flea market find was by commenting down below. Then be sure to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already. There are going to be more exciting videos coming out very soon, and you won't want to miss any of them. Number 10. The Treasures of Lake Baikal Lake Baikal in Siberia is not only the deepest in the world, but arguably the most mysterious as well, with a depth of up to 5,400 feet, spanning 400 miles long and 50 miles wide. This lake conceals many sunken treasures of past centuries. In particular, it is assumed that a large part of the Tsar's gold was swallowed up there. After the Russian Revolution, the monarchist White Guards fled in railroad cars across the frozen lake. 
Eyewitnesses reported that the ice gave way under the extremely heavy weight. Up to 180 tons of gold could thus have been lost with the wagons. And indeed, with a research submarine, they discovered several years ago, at a depth of 2,300 feet, the debris of a railway car. And even further, several boxes of ammunition from the Russian Civil War. The precious cargo of the monarchists, however, has not been found at the time. Other teams of divers have had more success. Thanks to metal detectors, they have spotted wrecks and reassembled pieces of precious metal and of great value, coins struck by the legendary Catherine the Great, who reigned over the empire at the end of the 18th century. Number 9. Snedisham Treasure The Snedisham Hoard or Snedisham Treasure is a series of discoveries of precious metal from the Iron Age that were discovered in the Snedisham area of the English county of Norfolk between 1948 and 1973. The treasure consists of metal, and over 150 fragments of gold torques, more than 70 of which form complete torques dating from the year 70 BC. Although the origins are unknown, this treasure is of a very high quality and was likely the royal treasure of the Iseni. In 1985, there was also a discovery of very valuable jewelry from the Roman Empire buried in a clay pot in AD 155 which was called the Snedisham Jewelers Hoard. Although it was made later and thus has no direct connection to the nearby Iron Age Hoard, it may be an indication that there was a long tradition of gold and silver working in Snedisham for thousands of years. Number 8. Valley of the Thracian Rulers In the fall of 2004, the sepulchre of King Seuthes III was discovered in the Goliama Kosmatka Tumulus located half a mile south of Shipka and eight miles north of Kazanlak. Built in the second half of the 5th century BC, it was teeming with Thracian wonders, including the king's golden crown, a golden kylix, which is a wine glass with two handles, a helmet, knee pads, and a decorated and ornate harness now on display in the historical museum of Kazanlak. The ritual burial of the head of the bronze statue of the king at the entrance to the tomb is an important testimony to the Orphic rites of the Thracians. Besides the sepulchre of Seuthes III, the Valley of the Thracian Kings also includes the tomb of Kazanlak and the temples found in the Goliama Arsenalka, Shushmanets, Helvetia, Griffons, Svetitza, and Ostrusha burial mounds. There were a lot of different tombs for many powerful royal people all clustered together there in central Bulgaria and there are probably still treasures buried there even today. Number 7 HMS Edinburgh Treasure On April 30th 1942 a German submarine torpedoed the light cruiser HMS Edinburgh en route from the Russian port of Murmansk to England. The ship carried 465 gold bars on board which the Soviets were to pay to the Allies under the Lend-Lease program for their military aid. Severely damaged, the ship remained afloat. However, for the enemies not to recover the cargo, it was sunk on the orders of British Rear Admiral Bonham Carter. After years of research, the ship was found in 1980, 250 miles northeast of Kola Bay in the Barents Sea, lying at a depth of 800 feet. On October 7, 1981, 431 of the 465 ingots were recovered. At the time of the operation, the treasure brought to the surface was estimated at 40 million pounds sterling, or nearly 100 million dollars today. Number 6. The Chalice of Arda The Arda Chalice is a chalice discovered in 1868 in Ireland by two young boys who were planting potatoes. The chalice was accompanied by other objects a much simpler copper cup, and four very elaborate Celtic brooches, the whole constituting the treasure of Arda. As it was simply buried in the ground, it would appear that its owner hid it there in a hurry and never returned to look for it. When did it get buried? Way back in the 8th century. The chalice was discovered along with the rest of the Arda treasure in 1868 by Jim Quinn and Patty Flanagan while they were digging in a potato field located southwest of a ring fort not far from the village of Arda in County Limerick. 
The other objects of the find were placed inside the chalice, simply covered with a stone slab, which suggests that their owner intended to come back for them a little later. The pins found with the chalice show that these objects were not buried until the Viking Age. What do you think happened here? Is it possible that the owner was in a hurry to hide his treasure before the Vikings came to pillage the town, but never made it back? After 1,000 years underground, the valuable treasures give us a glimpse into a life from the distant past. Number 5. Vienna Treasure The Vienna Treasure, or the Spanish Tesoro de Vienna, is a collection of precious objects dating from the Bronze Age found near Vienna, which is located in the Alicante province of Spain. The treasure consists of 59 objects made of gold, silver, iron, and amber, all together weighing about 23 pounds. Nine of them are composed of 23 and a half carat gold, making it the most important prehistoric gold found in the entire Iberian Peninsula, and the second most important in Europe after the royal graves of Mycenae, Greece. The treasure was found in December 1963 by archaeologist Jose Maria Soler Garcia, and rather than take it home for himself, he donated it to a museum. It was first uncovered about three miles from Vienna and is now on display in the city's archaeological museum, of which it is the main attraction. Number 4. The Erfurt Treasure Hidden treasures are possibly one of the great mysteries of humanity, especially due to the existence of written documents that assert that such spoils existed. But more often, these treasures are totally unknown until someone happens upon them totally randomly. The Erfurt treasure was one of those, which was owned by the Jewish community of Erfurt in Germany. Back in the year 1349, the treasure was buried by a notable moneylender named Kalman von Wiehe during one of the many pogroms of the Middle Ages known as the Erfurt Massacre. Sadly, the owners of the treasures were killed, but the treasures waited silently for 650 years only being discovered when they were disturbed by the pickaxe of a construction worker in 1998. It dazzles us with silver, precious stones, brooches, and of course, one massive famous gold engagement ring engraved with the words Mazel Tov in Hebrew letters, which means good fortune or congratulations. It certainly was good fortune to discover this hidden treasure trove, which is now displayed in a museum in Erfurt. Number 3. Hoxon's Treasure The Hoxon Treasure is the largest late Roman gold and silver treasure discovered in Britain and the largest collection of 4th and 5th century gold and silver coins found in all the Roman Empire. It was found on November 16, 1992 by Eric Laws in the village of Hoxon, Suffolk using a metal detector. The treasure consists of 14,865 Roman coins of bronze, silver, and gold from the end of the 4th and beginning of the 5th centuries, and around 200 pieces of silver tableware and gold jewelry. These objects are kept in the British Museum in London, where part of the treasure is on permanent display. Notably, this treasure was fully excavated by archaeologists, rather than amateur treasure hunters, and the law in Britain changed to properly compensate the discoverer and the farmer who owned the land where it was discovered in order to incentivize them to report treasures promptly rather than try to extract it and sell it themselves. Number 2. Nuestra Señora de Atocha American treasure hunter Mel Fisher devoted more than 11 years of his life trying to find the Spanish galleon Nuestra Señora de Atocha which was full of treasure when it sunk in a storm in 1622 near Florida. The Spaniards tried to recover the treasure themselves back in the 1600s, but the divers often perished while trying to recover the valuable gold. It wasn't until Mr. Fisher came at the problem with modern technology that things turned around. His efforts were finally rewarded in July 1985 when he found the wreckage of the ship with a large cargo of gold and silver. In total, the researcher managed to bring to the surface more than 200 gold bars and 1,100 silver bars, nearly 150,000 silver pieces, and more than 3,200 emeralds. 
Although the treasures found are estimated at more than $400 million, researchers estimate that part of the cargo still lies on the ocean floor. Even so, it was the most valuable shipwreck ever recovered, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Number 1. The Staffordshire Treasure Terry Herbert, a 55-year-old man, is the discoverer of a fabulous treasure consisting of over 1,500 gold and silver objects dating from the 7th century in a plowed field in Staffordshire and at a very shallow depth. It contained gold and silver for coins, and also weapons such as fragments of helmets, as well as sword guards, some of which are set with precious stones. Its discovery, the importance of which is compared to that of the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, is full of archaeologically significant artifacts. There are at least 84 pommels and 71 sword guards identified, which mostly display very fine decorations and encrusted garnets. The treasure contains approximately 650 gold objects, weighing over 11 pounds, and 530 silver objects weighing about 3 pounds, and a large number of precious stones. Its valuation ended up being set at over 3.2 million British pounds, which was split equally between Terry Herbert, who planned to buy a house, and the owner of the field, according to an agreement between the two men. Of course, such a large treasure caused a bit of a disagreement between the men, and they are no longer friends. Isn't that how we always fear these things will go? Sometimes, you gain a treasure, but you sadly lose a friend over it. If you found a treasure in your backyard, what would you do with the money gotten from it? Let me know in the comments. And if you love this video on the biggest treasure troves ever uncovered, then subscribe now to make sure you get notified about all the great videos coming out very, very soon. See you next time.